Can natural gas solve Hawaii's energy woes? Maisie Hirono on the campaign trail. And the DOE looks for help to deal with runaway bus costs. Those are stories that our partners at Civil Beat are working on. And joining us live over Skype is Civil Beat reporter Chad Blair. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Mahalani, and happy Kamehameha Day. Happy Kamehameha Day to you. So I read the statistic that Hawaii's electricity bills are three times the national average. So is natural gas part of that solution? Well, Governor Abercrombie sent a letter to Hawaiian Electric saying he wants to push for clean energy, but they should also look at other alternatives like natural gas. As you pointed out, our electricity rates are quite high. That's no surprise to anybody here. And there is some studies that indicate that it could be a financially uh, a cost saving if we did have natural gas to supplement our use of imported oil. Well, it's certainly an interesting avenue to explore. Let's talk politics now, and uh, we go to the race for the U.S. Senate. What's the latest in that? Well, we have, uh, we have a reporter, Adrienne LaFrance. She's on the East Coast, and she freelances for us these days. So she went to Rhode Island to the Netroots Nation Conference. That's a bunch of progressive bloggers. Macy Hirono addressed the crowd. This was a very, how shall I say, friendly crowd. When she mentioned Ed Case's name, uh, everybody booed. And when she mentioned Linda Lingle's name, they really booed. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, they opposed the Republicans. So uh, Maisie Hirona made her pitch, and she was also uh, looking for money on the East Coast. As you know, it's a very competitive Senate race. Does it look like Maisie Hirono is targeting her campaign against Linda Lingle already, or is she focusing on Ed Case? I think it's a very good observation. I would also say the same of, of Governor Lingle. She's been focused heavily on Maisie Hirono. But for example, at the Netroots Nation Conference, Maisie Hirono mentioned how the U.S. Chamber of Commerce spent all that money on ads in favor of Linda Lingle, uh, took apart Linda Lingle's uh, position that she somehow was a bipartisan candidate. Uh, clearly, both Lingle and Hirono think they are the, uh, the main uh, opponent, if you will. Ed Case may disagree with that. And really quickly, Chad, the, the DOA is trying to figure out how to just control those runaway bus costs. So what's the plan now? Well, as you know, bus costs have uh, tripled in the last five years. The idea is to hire a consultant to come in, study ridership, look at where all the students are coming from in the various neighborhoods, and get a report back to the legislature by December. Then they'll look at whether they need to change the way they fund buses. Well, hopefully they can find some viable solutions. Chad Blair, thank you so much for joining us, and enjoy the rest of your holiday. Oh, thank you. Just like you, I'm working, though. Okay, I know. Well, we have to enjoy a little bit of it. It's going to be nice <laughs> weather be today. Good. Thanks, Thank Chad. You. And you can find the complete story that we just discussed on civilbeat.com. We'll be right back.